Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing safe. And so since we are not traveling anymore, uh, at least probably uh, for a couple of weeks or a couple of months from now, so I thought of uh, decided to make literally another uh, creative video or tutorial so this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a twirl effect in Photoshop so if you have Adobe Photoshop and you're actually playing around I know a lot of you people might have been playing around with your old travel pictures re-editing and then reposting it on Instagram which is basically I'm doing right now uh, so I thought of actually taking a tutorial of creating this beautiful twirl effect uh, that I recently learned so if you are not a Photoshop uh, person uh, like me I'm basically a lightroom person so um, you can actually play around this cool effect so if you're into wedding photography or portrait photography so you can give your clients this kind of beautiful look for their pictures I personally feel that uh, a couple shoots will actually uh, be more creative with if you add this kind of uh, effect into the picture so let's jump into the video and then see how to create this a tutorial and then I'm gonna show you how to create this twirl effect so let's get started welcome back here is our Lightroom so I've opened my picture that I wanted to apply the twirl effect and now I'm going to edit my picture from basic to the actually pull out the colors in it so here is my before and after so here is my before and after so this was the original raw picture and then this is my edit so I did my basic editing according to my style how I do the editing you can go to my other videos and check uh, I've edited some pictures using this Lightroom so if you see want to see my style of editing you can visit those videos I'll give the link in the description and as well as the top right corner so I did my editing and now I go to the photo and then click the edit menu and then edit in Photoshop so what this does is it takes my picture to Photoshop and then uh, from there I can actually edit my picture so this is the same picture I have edited in Photoshop in, in Lightroom and then I brought it to Photoshop so now here is Photoshop we wanted to apply the twirl effect now I'm gonna show you two simple steps on how to do that so click on your W tool which will actually select your quick selection van tool and then now on your base background picture just drag on the sky which will actually automatically apply the uh, selection on your sky now just press ctrl J and then ctrl J will actually make sure it will create a new layer for the selection that we just did so if you uh, if you don't know how to do that just click on the new layer and then drag that on there it will also apply or just do ctrl J from Mac or Windows keyboard that will actually take your new selection to onto a new layer we want because we don't want it to disturb the background or the original picture that's why we apply layers in Photoshop so now clicking on this new layer go to filter and then go to pixel light menu and then do a meso tint on this so if you select the meso tint and then from the drop down select short strokes and then click OK now it will apply the short stroke effect on the new layer or new selection of the sky that you just did now go to filter one more time do a blur and then do a radial blur and then now make sure the blur method is zoom and then amount is 100% and then click OK what it will create is it will create a smooth blur effect on the selection that you just applied the meso tint effect so these are like two two main uh, filters that we apply uh, for achieving this twirl effect so guys you need to do probably a, a radial blur option like twice or more than twice depending on the picture so if you see here my picture uh, it this is just one time the applied blur effect so it looks like little bit nicey and all so what I want to do is I wanted to go and apply the radial blur on top of this one so just go to filter menu and then click on the topmost menu item which is your history so just click on that what it will do is it will apply the radial blur uh, one more time on top of this image now it actually when it renders it looks very smooth 
so depending on the picture and depending on the quality of the picture you might actually want to apply this radial blur more than two three times depending on your picture so just keep trying on applying like more than two or three times and then you will achieve a smooth effect so if you see here now it turned out to be really like a smooth 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 effect so this is what i wanted to now uh, go to filter option again and then go to distort menu and then do a twirl so here is where you apply the twirl effect now you have achieved the basic uh, texture of the picture of the effect now you're gonna apply some motion to it so just distort the picture like I wanted to do like a just zoom out a little bit I want to do like little bit twirl and then now I click on OK now it applies this kind of like a twirl effect to the picture did you see that how beautiful it is now what what you have applied the effect on top of your picture but your picture is behind that so we want to reveal the original picture so just go to your uh, layers menu and then hide the layer that we just applied on and then go to the original main layer now keeping your van tool selected just drag one more time the whole uh, sky like as you did for the first time now just do a control shift i what that does is it actually inverse your selection so now you have selected the other part of the sky so leaving the uh, sky uh, visible you have selected the other part now go to your layer menu and then click visible uh, to make it visibility and now click on the Y option so Y actually makes your history uh, brush enabled now you just to wipe on the selection so what it does is it just reveals your history so there is your, so you erased that before now you are actually revealing the history of this one now just unselect it now you see this beautiful effect of uh, the twirl applied onto our Charminar, the monument of Hyderabad. So guys, uh, here was my tutorial on how to create this beautiful twirl effect. You can apply this picture to any of your landscapes or couple shoot photo photography where you have a large sunset skies or sky colors. So try this effect and let me know uh, in the description below or comments below i'll give you my instagram uh, profile so tag my uh, hashtag using travel with shivanara or just shivanara hashtag and then i'll see your pictures on how you created this beautiful twirl effects and then added that perfect uh, blur effect in your pictures so if you like this video give me a thumbs up and then uh, please subscribe to this channel if you have any of your photography friends interested in more tutorials and travel uh, let them know that Mihir is my channel and then ask them to subscribe to it um, so I hope you all stay safe and then continue staying at home and wearing masks all time so let's see in my another video